Have you seen that before? Mm -hmm. You sure? I'm sure. Well, I got this for you and your sister. Look what it does. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and spin it a little bit. Not too much, just a little bit. It stops, right? Mm -hmm. Spin it a little bit. Oh, that's right. Let's spin it a little Go ahead, spin it. All right. And what happens? Is it slowing down or speeding up? It's slowing down. And it stopped, right? Let mm -hmm. it stop. Stopped by itself, right? Mm -hmm. But what does it do? What does it do? Are you ready? So just once again, if we spin it on the table here, it stops by itself, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty hot, right? Mm -hmm. Very hot, right? Mm -hmm. Now spin it a little bit. Let's give it a few more seconds. We gotta let it rest a little bit, let it warm up. Once the air underneath warms up the metal plate on the bottom, see it's just a metal plate on there. Just wants to go here. Hold up. <laughs> Don't have it up. I want to see it start to speed up. It's going to start to speed up now. It's picking up speed now, right? Mm -hmm. It was almost about to stop a few seconds ago. Now it's got a steady run, right? It's not going to stop, is it? No, it's not stopping. It's picking up speed a little bit, isn't it? But does it do anything to the tea? It's a no. low temperature Sterling motor. It was designed in the early 1800s, and this design was one of the first steam engines. Mm -hmm. You could use the same design with a little bit of change to it to accept high heat or steam, right? But we're just using it with hot water to produce the heat differential between this side and this side. So this side down here is probably about 100 degrees or 110 degrees. Okay. And this side up here is 70 degrees like our house, okay? See, it's not hot, right? Mm -hmm. See, it pick, it's picked up a little bit of speed. Yeah, it is. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. What kind of motor is it? Sterling motor. Sterling motor. Excellent. Or a Sterling engine. You like that? Yeah. Cool. Clap.